Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to tell you about the best cell phones of March, 2020. Before we dive into our list, we do want to say that it has been confirmed March 31st, there's an Apple event mm -hmm. and very strong chance there's going to be a new iPhone release that day. Yes, the iPhone SE 2. It's supposed to have three gigabytes of RAM. It's supposed to have the same processor as the iPhone 11, which is the A13. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to come in 64 and 128 gigabyte variants. And the price is supposed to be $399, according to the most recent rumors. But we can't be sure if that's 100% true. But yeah. as David said, it might be worth holding off. Yes, yeah, so those are some ballpark numbers there for you. If, if you're on a budget, maybe just wait this month out, see right. what happens March 31st, and then yeah. move on. But if you want the full screen iPhone, I know we want to get to the list, <laughs> but the iPhone XR is only $549. Spoiler alert, but... What's our number five phone? Number five, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. This is your top of the line Android phone. I like this phone. The screen is beautiful mm -hmm. and it has face recognition. It has the fingerprint recognition. So if you prefer the thumbprint, mm -hmm. maybe a better choice than some of the new iPhones, but uh, it's a great phone, but I mean, I'm an iPhone guy. Yeah, we actually picked up an S10 and we've been kind of messing around with it a little bit. And yeah, I've been surprised at how much I liked it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some quick specs for this phone, 6.4 inch display, rear triple camera, up to a 39 hour battery talk time. That's that's a lot of- That's a lot of hours. A lot of hours for sure. Yeah. Coming in number four, iPhone 11 Pro Max, sort of like the S10 Plus, but for iPhones, top of the line. Also the most expensive, the S10 Plus is the most expensive Android. That's not a 5G variant, of course. Mm -hmm. And the 11 Pro Max is the most expensive iPhone. And you can't even get a 5G version of that. Most expensive iPhone only goes up to 512 gigabytes of storage. It's got a beautiful display. If you want the best of the best iPhone, iPhone 11 yep. Pro Max is the way to go. Yep. It's not cheap though. Got that nice rear triple camera with the new ultra wide lens. We've tested that out. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Yep, David likes it. Yeah, some other quick specs for you. 6.5 inch display, rear triple camera, as I said, up to a 30 hour battery talk time. Not as good as the S10 Plus, but still more than enough. Yep, not bad. Yep. Mm -hmm. Number three is the iPhone XR, as we, you just mentioned. Budget iPhone for for now anyway. Maybe yeah. it'll change March 31st. We'll have to shake up our list a little bit for the first time in yeah. months. But mm -hmm. iPhone 10R, if you're on a budget, solid phone. Great phone, 549 bucks. You really can't beat it. Mm -hmm. They went out of their way last year, in my opinion, to make the iPhone 10R seem worse than the iPhone 10S and the 10S Max. Thank God they went back to just iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max. That way it's a little bit less confusing with all these numbers that everybody would mispronounce. Yep, the camera is not as good as the 10R, but it's still a really solid camera. It's a great camera, yep. yeah. Well, only one camera, but you know, you can only take one picture at a time anyways. So. Yep, some other specs, yeah. 64, 128, and 256 gigabyte variants, mm -hmm. more than enough storage for most people. Yep. Up to a 25 hour battery talk time. Yep, that'll get more, you more than enough. Yep. Yeah, 6.1 inch display, as we said, solid phone, cheap phone. Yep. On a budget, that's one to think about. Yeah, beautiful display. Yep. Our favorite Android of the month, once again, Google Pixel 3a XL. Uh, less expensive than the four. The specs aren't quite as good, but the savings you get with this phone are, in our opinion, more. That's than what makes it, yeah. yeah, that's what makes it worth it. It only comes in a 64 gigabyte variant, which doesn't sound like a lot. So this phone is really optimized to make the most out of Google's cloud services, which is like Google Photos. So Google Photos is great. Mm -hmm. Unlike iCloud, you don't have to pay for unlimited photo storage. That's a great deal. Yep. But 64 gigabyte variant, you can't put as much video on the phone mm -hmm. at once. So if you're a videographer, maybe stay away from this phone and get one with a little bit Larger storage. I mean, if you're a videographer, get the iPhone 11 Pro Max. They're shooting films on it now. Yeah, they are. They're feature films. And Selena Gomez is a music video. I mean, if, if she can, <laughs> a little bit of post production there, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, quick specs about this phone, six inch display, 12.2 megapixel camera, and an up to 39 hour battery talk time. Again, at least a full day yeah. of talk time. More, you gotta, yeah. More than enough. <laughs> the whole point with these, I mean, you have to charge it every night, right? Yeah. Some people will be like, I can use my phone for two days, but you know. As long as you can make it through a full day, that's really all yeah. that matters. Well, every phone can do that now. I mean, it's a good phone anyway. Yeah, unless you have a battery problem. Unless you have a battery. In which case, you should check out our YouTube video called Why Does My iPhone Battery Die So Fast? Yeah, we'll link to that in the description section below. Top phone of the month, once again, is the iPhone 11. Yeah, 649 bucks for a great iPhone. Mm -hmm. Two cameras, not the three, like mm -hmm. the 11 Pro Max. It's got a beautiful display yep. right in between the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 6.1 inches. I like this phone. Yeah, it's kind of a nice middle spot between the budget 10R and the max out high price 11 yep. Pro Max. Quick specs about this phone, 6.1 inch display, dual rear cameras, as you said, 64, 128, and 256 gigabyte variants, up mm -hmm. to a 26 hour battery talk time. 
uh, our favorite iPhone, as we said. Yeah, I think it's the best phone of the yeah. month. Keep out, keep an eye out for that March 31st event, and yeah, just a little bit of patience right now. Yeah, don't pull the trigger just yet, unless you want to. Unless you want to, you smashed your old phone. Yeah, yeah. Don't Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Dude. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions. Maybe you have some predictions about the iPhone SE2. Is that yeah, yeah. SE2? I guess we'll maybe, just have maybe, to wait. And, maybe it's the nine. Wait and see. Uh, and don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones.